All right, here we go. This is episode four, week three, playing against the Army Black Knights. Um, just came off a, a big win against Texas State. It was a, actually a, a, a thumping, so hopefully we can continue that going here. I've already done my recruiting for the week, so I just need to get the game going here and jump off and hopefully get a good win. Playing in in the ar playing at Army, so not not at home this week. I think it's my first away game of the season, so see if we can play good in the not, not at home, not have our home field advantage. And uh, apparently Dove Men Care sponsoring the game. I think I want to try that. I've been using the uh, the Old Spice body wash and stuff like that, and it's actually it actually smells really good. Works pretty good, so I think I'm, I might I might try Dove. Dove's supposed to be pretty good, but I take the ball. Uh, or actually, they, they decide to kick it, but I'd rather have the ball anyways. Give me the daggum ball. That means I can score first. I've um, got a kick return here. Didn't, too bad, about on average, about 20, 25 yard return. Nothing too major here. Um, need, to, need to start off a big. Uh, completed that last game. Ended up winning. Winning offense produced really well, so just need to keep on rolling here. Get another win under my belt. And get some confidence back up after that first week thumping that I took. I started off passing, even though last week I had a big game running, but hit my tight end across the middle. That's my my go-to go to receiver for sure, like e easily. I, don't, I think everybody else might have less than 15 receptions, while as he's probably got 20 or 30 or so. I might do an update on the stats, probably about the halfway point, let, let you see who's who's leading my team in what, what category and go from there. I almost thought I stepped out of bounds right there, but hit my running back in the flats, and he got three yards. Looked like he was going to be a little bit more than that, but uh, apparently it wasn't. But, yeah, I was thinking about doing, like, a, a stat update, see who's my go-to receiver, who's producing big on defense, on offense, stuff like that. So I hand the ball off here, and I get stuffed. to try a little, like, little draw, delay handoff, but it didn't work out so well, so... Third and six, it's more likely going to be another pass. It's pretty, pretty long. Don't figure I'll get it running, but I have a good opportunity to get it passing. Here we go again. Probably going to be slant across the middle, tight end, and almost picked, but tight end hit him in the hands and he dropped it. That's a, it's a huge no no. Hits you in the hands, you better catch it. There's no excuses. That's, a, that's like the number one rule in football if you're a wide receiver. It hits you in the hands, you better catch it. I was a wide receiver in high school, so that's what I was always told. Granted, I only, they only threw one pass my way, so the only time it went my way, I caught it for like a seven-yard gain across the middle. But other than that, we, we were running a lot. Small small town in Texas, so that's just how we did. First time on defense, let's see if it goes a lot better than, than offense. Offense, obviously, didn't do so hot for me there, so let's see if I can actually produce some here. And... We let him run the ball huge, golly. What the heck was I thinking? That's not, not what I need to start the game. Defense needs to, needs to produce a little bit better than that. Especially well, last week. Well, yeah, I have a hard time defending the pass. So I'm going to bring a little bit more pressure this time. And, oh, oh, two missed tackles. Another big game for them. That's not good. See, they they go no huddle after that. No huddle after I blitz, but I'm gonna blitz again. Been, bl been blitzing a lot more here recently. Um, get him in the backfield. Thought he was gonna get away from me there, but got a nice little stop in the backfield. So third and six. See if I can uh, force him to punt here. That'd be that'd be huge. Uh, after all, especially after I didn't do squad on offense. Oh, they jumped offside there. That's. That's good for me, bad for them. That puts them back another, another, oh sorry, excuse me, another five yards or so. So that, that means they're more likely going to have to pass it in third and 11. Most teams aren't going to get that rushing. So here we go, need to, need to stop here. Oh, man, I've been blitzing a whole lot, so I went with man here and jumped in front of that, picked it off, stiff arm that hoe, put him on the ground where he belongs. And scamper in for six points. Touchdown. First score of the game was a pick six. That guy right there, number 28, that guy's a beast. I think he's got all of my picks in in the season so far, which is like three, but 
that guy, that guy's a stud. I, I like him. Hopefully he's not a senior. Hopefully I can keep him, keep him around for a couple more years. Because he's, he's easily the leader on the defense, even though he's not my impact player. But he's, he's good at what he does. So kicking the ball off after that huge pick six. See if we can uh, get it again. Maybe we can pick it off again or stop him here. Force another turnover or whatever. But see if we can get this going. Let's see. And uh, stop, stop him for short short return. That's good. That's real good. My uh, my kick return hadn't been so hot. Or kick return defense, I guess you would say special teams, has, has been lackluster. Uh, I know me being user controlled, I, I miss a lot of the big hit tackles because that's what I'm going for. I want to get the big hits, try to try to make him fumble it, but I miss a lot. So blitzing here again, and oh, oh, I thought that was going to be another pick. Switch to the guy. And I did a circle around the dude. I think I could turn around real quick. Real quick. I thought I was actually a different guy. I was just going to step in front of that and go the distance again, but it didn't work out so well. So blitzing again, and they try to run it. My defense is all over him. I'm stopping the run pretty good right now. I'm blitzing. I'm blitz I've I was like I said, I've been blitzing a lot more than I have been. Um, somebody, somebody mentioned in, in one of the comments of the videos to to blitz a little bit more with the linebackers or control the linebackers, and if uh, if the running back stays and then blitz with him. But uh, it's it's actually been working for me pretty good the last couple of games. Right there is another another stop for no gain. So third and ten here. So we got like two minutes left in the first quarter. And I've only been on offense once. That's that's not good, but my defense has stepped up and produced for me, so that's always good. And well, I say that as they just give up a first down, like a 15, 17 yard gain, something like that. Maybe I should uh, not be praising them before the game's over. You never know, as you can tell by that first game. You never know when something's going to happen. See if I can stop them here, run the ball again. I'm stopping the run pretty good. It's actually it's actually working pretty well for me. I think I might, might change my game plan instead of trying to stop the run so much. I want to try to stop the stop the pass. Maybe I can get some some better corners for later years, and then just get average to good uh, defensive linemen. But in the passing game just whooping me. They got fast wide receivers and they got slow secondary, so that's not a good option here. Go for the quarterback, and he pitches it to the running back, but he gets no gain anyway. So that's no no big deal off my back. Uh, let's see, third and third and nine. Let's see if I can actually stop him here instead of giving up another 15-yard gain and bringing the blitz, blitz and blitz and blitz and and don't get too much time. And linebacker with Michael Jordan jumping capability picks it off there. That's usually, I'm usually on the other end of that. Usually I'll throw it, and the linebacker will will pick it. He's got more more ups than my wide receiver, and it's actually my my middle linebacker. So I'll take it. I'll take that second pick of the game, and it's the first quarter. Defense stepping up huge for me. I like I like the way this is going. I just need my offense to produce here. I need a, need a touchdown to start separating myself from from Army a little bit from the Black Knights and get a get good good blocking right there. I think I I missed that that extra block. I think I cut cut in instead of went out. So I missed a little little extra block, but I'll, I'll take what I can get. No second inches. I'm gonna run it again. Oh no. I thought that, that formation I was going to run it again. I'm going to pass it here, see if I can get a little first down. Oh, and the game freezes. That's weird. That's happened to me a lot. Hit my running back in the flat, see if I can get the first. Couldn't. I probably could hit my, my tight end across the middle there, but I decided to go against it. First studio update of the game, Utah State beating Wisconsin in the second quarter. That's pretty interesting. Now, that's the first studio update I've had this game, and it's almost in the first quarter. I guess I was one of the early games this week or something. Usually I have probably about five or six studio updates at this time. Might run the ball first down and then some. Moving the ball pretty good on offense now after that horrible first drive. Let's see if I can score before before the end of the first quarter. That would that would be nice. Well, score other on offense. I've already scored on defense. Changing play again. Uh, playing away so they have home field advantage. So my guys can't really hear all that well. So hopefully, hopefully they actually run the right pattern, and he does. And I hit him on the out, and oh, just got the first down as the clock into the first quarter there. The guys are all pumped up, moving the ball pretty good now. And then first play of the second quarter, play action pass, hit my 
the fullback, I think, right there on the on the little flat. Run the ball again, and third and four. Let's see if I can get a first down right here. Run the ball, first down. That's what we need. That was a huge game, man. Need need holes like that every game. Run the ball again. Thought I got in, but I didn't. Oh, ooh, Matthews is hurt. That's uh, that's not good. Wade, Wade, the backup running back comes in. Touchdown. I guess that works. And Matthews is out for two quarters. Um, I decided not to bring him back in just because potential injury could be bad. So uh, he might be back in the fourth quarter. We'll we'll see. And then they have a huge kick return and quarterback scramble. Now they're now they're on their on my side of the fifty. That's not good. Just need to need to stop him out. Stop him right here. And another turnover, force him to punt. We got third and three, and stop him in the backfield. Good job, defense. Fourth and three, putting the ball. I never really trust. Just the CPU to actually punt the ball is occasionally if I'm way down and on their side of the field I'll I'll bring the, the whole the whole squad in and try to block the punt. But other than that I'm gonna play it safe and play it like man or like a zone return just in case they try to try to throw it or something like that. But back on offense again, moving the ball pretty good. You got a little encroachment call. That's that's always good. Let's see what we got here. First and five. And stopped. Ooh. You will, University of Lafayette Monroe, I guess, and Auburn are tied. And throw it across the middle deep there, almost picked. Throw it again in double coverage and almost picked. That was a genius move. So I'm going to go for it on fourth down here. I'm inside, why not? I'm up pretty good. And almost picked again. I guess I should have punted it. That was not a good way to end the drive there. It was almost picked three times in a row, and I turned the ball over with decent field pos uh, position for them. They're really close to 50. Quarterback scrambles again. Golly, I need to get a spot on that quarterback. He's moving the ball pretty good on me. At least with his feet, not really with his arm. So maybe maybe I can get him, stop him here. Yeah, stop him here, field goal. Wow. He just booted that for a long ways. So that's good. I'll take a field goal over a touchdown any day. So third quarter, halftime, up 14-3. to three. See if I can start distancing myself here pretty producing on offense and keep stopping them on defense get some some more points and get the win oh picked again golly it's the third pick of the game it's that guy again number 28 like i said he's he's my stud that's for sure that's his second pick of the game and uh, i hope he gets all american this year who wait has a huge run on the outside good job dang wade wade's trying to make the best of what he's got getting this some playing time while while matthews is out wade's like give me the ball coach i'll carry this team He's a senior, actually he's a senior this year, but his overall stats is actually a little worse than than Matthew, so I decided to put Matthews, who's a junior, in to get him uh, some extra extra stats and stuff in the game. But Wade's, Wade's not too bad. He's actually doing pretty good for me. Got a touchdown out of it, so I'll take it. Uh, and then back on defense again. I'm bringing the blitz, bringing the blitz, knock the ball down again there, punt, punting the ball. So my, my defense is sitting pretty good, forcing a lot of punts, stopping them on third down, not letting them get the third down conversion. So see a blitz right there, decide to run it and throw it away. The one that gets sacked, and it was actually, I guess it was like a fake blitz, but throw it across the middle, huge gain, first down, I'll take it. I'm going to run the ball again, didn't go anywhere, so I happens I try to run up the middle almost every time. So let's see what we got here, and another pass across the middle, 10 for 15, that's not too good. But I threw four, three or four incomplete passes in a row a while ago. Uh, Auburn's still beating or pulling away from Monroe, so that's that's good for them. Monroe's not ranked, and Auburn is. So to end the red zone, and way touchdown. It's the second rush touchdown of the game, and it's the third quarter, almost in the third quarter, up 28 to three. That's pretty good. Offense is actually starting to move the ball pretty good now that I guess now that Wade's in, he's carrying the team pretty good. I'll take it. Let's see, man. Ooh, sacked him. Yes, sir. That's my... I think that guy's in the running for my... If you're looking at the screen right, outside linebacker, he's actually, I think, one of the sack leaders for, for NCAA right now. He's doing pretty good, so I bring, I bring that blitz a lot. And then now we got, we got under the studio update. Fourth quarter. It just started. Now I'm back on offense after... They put it on a fourth and 23. <laughs> defense, is, defense is stepping it up this game. It's, it's really good. All right, I got him with the jump offsides there, so this is a free play. Throw it deep down the middle. 
give it huge gain. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and take this anyways. I want to take the pass, decline that. I don't want that five yards. I want that 25 yards I just got. So if, I think I'm going to pass it in here again. I don't know why. I should be running out the clock. It's fourth quarter, and I'm up pretty good. So don't need to try to do anything, but I got a little play action pass here. Play action, and... Oh, I just get smashed in the backfield. Oh, my gosh. That's not, not what I needed there. Second 19. A huge gain, and then turned around and get smashed in the backfield. And now they tell me the pump fake button. Nice. Thank you for that NCAA. Randomly during the game after I get sacked for a huge loss or at the end of the game. Thanks for the tool tips there. Throwing the ball again. See, see the blitz come and hit my tight end. He was jetting up the middle, so I'll take advantage of that. Give me, give me some yards there. Third and four. See if I get the first down here. I'm not doing so hot on, on third down. I want to be 100%, but that's obviously not working out so well for me. Hand it off the Wade here, and scoots around the outside, gets two huge blocks, and touchdown. Man, this dude's tearing it up for me. And that was, what, a 21-yard 20 20 -yard touchdown run? That's his third of the game. Golly, this guy's a beast. Why is he sitting on my bench? Well, Matthews, you might have some competition, buddy. So that's why I'm telling him on the sideline, at least. I'm like, Wade's, Wade's carrying the team while you're out. You need to do something. Maybe stop getting injured. Pansy, kicking the ball off again. I'm up 35 to three. This game's over. Yeah, I, at least I say it is. There's no, no way you're coming back from a 35 to three. Get the ball to that guy and miss, miss tackle a dude. Golly, kick, kick return, tackling's horrible. I can't tackle anybody. That's like their third or fourth big gain on a kick return. It's not what I'm needing. Let's see what we got here. Back on defense again. Need him. You can just stuff him, get the ball back, run out the clock. You need him to not get first downs, not to complete, well, complete passes. I don't want him to stop the clock if all possible. Bring the blitz again and hits his runner back in the, in the flats and stopped. Stuffed in the backfield. Good defense, good open field tackle right there. Good job, defense. My defense has been huge this game. I'm actually actually really enjoying that. It's what I've, what I've been missing. Well, actually, well, technically my defense has been producing all season. My offense hasn't. And then, once again, I say they've been producing, and then I give up a 15-yard gain. Awesome. I was blitzing that time, too, and the quarterback just went all the way around it. What the heck, man? I need to stop praising my defense. Give up big plays right after I say something. Bring another blitz here, and he just throws it away. I don't think he had a chance. I was already through the line pretty much right as he, right as he said hut. So uh, he just threw the ball away instead of taking the sack. Smart decision. Second down, 10 yards to go. I'm going with the zone here. I think it's the two-man uh, back or deep or something like that. Pitches the option. Got get stuffed in the backfield for good, good loss. Defense is tearing it up, man. Can't have, can't say much more about my defense. They've, they produced huge for me this game. So that's, that's what I need every game. Pass across the middle and stop them. So fourth and four. Two minutes left, and they're actually going to go for it. Uh, they, their little defense pick a play up at the top. It didn't say special teams or punt or field goal, so they were going to go for it. Let's see if I can stop them here on fourth down. Play action pass, and almost picked again. Man, the defense all over the place. Knocked the ball down, forced a turnover, so that's good. But got the ball back. About two minutes left. Pretty much just need to run it here, run it out, and. Force the game to the end. It's it's over. See, oh, Matthews is back in. Let's see what he can do since he got back from his injury. Could say six yard gain. That's not bad. Coming back from his injury is out. Second, well, most of the third quarter, or most of the first quarter, second and third, and half of the fourth quarter. So he's been out a while. See what he can do when he gets back in here. Run the ball again. The player's gonna run it out. Run every play here. Get some good blocks. Got stuck behind my line lineman right there. That could have potentially been a huge gain, more than likely a touchdown. But it took just a little bit too long getting through the line, and the blockers had to let go right as I went past, and he got me. So huge gain for Matthews whenever whenever he comes back in. Running the ball again, running up the middle right here. See if I can get something going. Ooh, bounce it outside. Can't figure out the juke. It's been moved to get around that guy, but still got a huge gain. 
to Drew update, Auburn ends up beating UL Monroe 13 to seven. So all Monroe had to do is score and kick a field goal and they would have had a huge upset, but yeah, but they'll, they'll take putting up those, well, not putting up those kind of numbers, preventing a massive blowout against a highly skilled team. So Matthews running the ball again, golly, 10 rushes, 75 yards, 7.5 average. That, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. He's had not scored though every time. Well, he got injured in the first quarter and then he wasn't even close to the end zone. And then Wade came back and ended up scoring and actually Wade's in right now. First play he's back in, gets a huge gain, 12 yard gain, first and goal. Might have a little quarter, uh, running back controversy here. Wade's producing, producing big and Matthews is producing big. So I guess we'll just see See next week and the week after that, see who's producing for me. Wade gets the carry again because Matthews is still on the sideline, catching his breath and scores. Golly, that's his fourth touchdown of the game. <laughs> that's that's insane. That's insane. Matt, oh, Matthews is sitting on the bench right now and Wade's tearing it up. Might have to uh, have to give him a little bit more playing time. So been my my running backs a little bit more. Let's see what we got here. Kicking the ball off again. They don't have a whole lot of time left, less than a minute. So should be a ball game right here, 42-3. to three. Uh, There's no way they're going to score 40 or 39 points to tie it. So in less than a minute, not with the way my defense has been playing. I'm going to bring – oh, actually, here goes zone here. I don't bring the blitz this time. I'll go with man. Don't bring the blitz this time. I'm going to switch it up a little bit, see if I can catch him off guard. Maybe get another turnover. And he gets hit as he releases. That was almost another sack, and I wasn't even blitzing that time. So quarterback's getting a lot of pressure on him. He's been face down on that dirt, that grass all game, which is what I like to see. Defense getting good pressure and forcing, forcing to make bad throws, hence the three turnovers. So uh, go with the option here. Go with the cut off his route to the running back, force him inside. That's what we needed. Don't want to get an outside and getting a huge run. Stop him short of the first down there. So third down here, bringing another blitz. Well, play action pass, and he just throws it away. He wouldn't. He were going to go anywhere with it. So 34 seconds left, fourth down. They're going to punt it. I'm get the ball back and just run out the clock. There's no need for me to try to do anything unless I get a huge return here, unless I score here or get get within 20. There's no need for me to try to force anything, get somebody hurt, turn the ball over, or something like that. So pet my stats isn't that important. I would like to pad my stats, of course, but it's not that important. So, get a decent return. I'm on the 50 yard line. It's not bad. It's one of my better punt return returns, actually. But that guy always gets laid out, so hopefully he's a happy camper. I'm just going to run the ball, run the ball outside like I, like I always do. I like running outside. Get a couple of big blocks. Matthews is back in. Spun around the, the block there. First down. I'll take it. Oh, second inch is almost first down. I'm just going to run out the clock here. I'm not even going to pick a play. There's no need for it. Like I said, just wasting extra time getting out on the field and calling the play. Then they they could potentially call timeout and stop the clock and all this other stuff trying to get the ball back. So I just sit here and run out the play. And that's that's it for for this this game. Win 42 to three against the Army Black Knights. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I needed. It's a good good game defense for sure defense stepped up huge three three picks and one was a pick six and offense finally stepped up after the first quarter started producing some points i think mostly the third and fourth quarter actually is whenever they came through for me which was nice so let's see who was who's play of the game it's weighed 13 carries 85 yards four touchdowns average was a little under seven yards a carry so that's that's a huge game for him and his two quarters worth of running so like I said, he might he might get some more playing time. He's doing doing really well for us uh, in this game. Get on the next week and see what we got here. And I think I could play Kansas next week, which should be an interesting game. They're not in our conference. Still haven't started our our uh, conference play yet, but here here we're pretty quick with this going. I actually get my first recruit this week at the end of this week while I'm auto. Well, I'm advancing it. I get a running back. His name T. Edwards. He's a three-star. That's pretty much all I can get. But I got my first recruit this week, and uh, that's, that's a good start. 
So hopefully next week will be another W. I got two, two and one for the season. I'll take it. And hopefully I can get this next one up sometime later this week. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later.